Hi guys, so we are on page 230, um, 230, and we are still a trail guide to the body. This time we are featuring um, the bony landmarks and how to access them. So you have uh, different trails. Okay, so trail one, we're going to go around the globe. Okay, so we're going to uh, palpate the bones and bony landmarks of the cranium and face. So from A, the occiput. Uh, the EOP again, this makes me smile every time I see EOP, which stands for external occipital protuberance. Okay, um, and um, we're heading to the superior nuchal line and we're heading to the temporal bone. Uh, sorry, my, the parietal bone and then in the temporal and then the temporal bone. And then we're going to the mastoid process, right? And the psychomatic arch and the styloid uh, process. And then D is the frontal um, bone. And we have the sphenoid bone. And um, we also have uh, the nasal, the psychomatic, and uh, maxilla. This is the maxilla. Okay, this is the mandible here. So we have here the image here, sorry my apologies. So we have here the trail two. Um, we have the jaw jaunt explores the mandible. So we have here, um, you can see here is this is um, the body. So um, where you can find where are your um, sort of, um, that is more so the body where your uh, teeth, the last tooth, or um, where your cheek, uh, I wish I could show you my face and show where it is, but this is where the body and B, we have the base, right? And C, we have the submandibular fossa here. And D is always the angle. Just like, you know, the scapula it has an angle. Also, the mandible has this ang angle. Angle. <laughs> my Filipino accent is coming out. Uh, I live in Toronto, Canada, but uh, I'm Filipino uh, by nature. So E, we have here the ramus here, and F is the coronoid process. Okay, keep in mind the coronoid process, very important on uh, landmarking. And of course, the condyle here. So we have here um, the trail three. Okay, so this is the lateral view of the neck. Okay, so we have the horseshoe track. Um, locates the cartilaginous uh, structures of the anterior neck and the horseshoe shape hyoid bone. Keep in mind anterior neck meaning the front view. Posterior is the back. So we're going to start from the tra trachea and we're going to go ahead at uh, the uh, cricoid cartilage and we're going to go ahead to um, you know superiorly we're going or um, proximally uh, we're going to go and access the thyroid cartilage, which here. And uh, we're going to go again proximally or superiorly to the hyoid bone. Okay? So within the progress of the evolution, the skulls uh, of more ad advanced creatures begin to have fewer and fewer bones. For example, some fish have more than 100 bones in the skull. Reptiles might have 70 and primitive mammals 40. A human skull contains 22 bones, eight of which form the cranium form and design perspective. This makes, this makes good sense. So fewer bones means fewer sutures and fewer means greater protection. Okay, so uh, you see um, uh, it's more protected that way because the uh, less sutures is more uh, is, uh, more protection okay um, it's protecting the brain and keep in mind like the brain doesn't have any pain receptors right so the only pain that let's say if they're gonna do an um, a brain um, surgery um, the only pain will be on the outer part and they're gonna have to cut that open but um, whether you touch the brain or not uh, you know, during the surgery, it, it can't have any pain. It doesn't have any pain receptors. Okay, see you guys in the next video.